Hey YouTube, what's going on? My name is Pokemon. and welcome back to my channel. This video, we're gonna be going through the new Poltergeist V-Box. I've had it in my collection for a little bit now, um, and I just thought it was time to open it. I picked it up pretty much the second it came out, and I thought now would be a good time to open it. I picked it up for about $38 Australian. So we're gonna be detectives today. We're gonna to see if it's worth your hard earned money. So it comes with a promo card as per usual, and then it comes with the giant card as well. Um, Poltergeist is not my favorite Pokemon by any stretch. I just picked it up because it was new. Pokemon always gets me. Um, it's pretty much just a giant teacup. So don't know what Pokemon were thinking there. Um, but we're going to give it a crack anyway. Fuck it. Let's do it. But I think in this one, it definitely has some Rebel Clash packs, which is good. We'll try and go for some full arts there um, and pick up some ones that I'm missing. And then whatever packs else it comes with, I'll show you guys as well. If you haven't seen my last video, go check that out. It's a Cinderace V-Box opening. Um, I think we did really well on that one. I think we got a full art and a secret rare as well. So that was... Mwah. Absolutely beautiful. The rainbow rares from the Sword and Shield set are just awesome. I'm a massive fan. The textures on them are really nice. Um, and I think the Lapras that we pulled was really well cut. Fortunately, the Pikachu full art we got wasn't the best cut, but it's just nice to have in the collection. I'll just leave that in. I don't have it personally for myself. I uh, pulled it with a mate, but not in my collection. Um, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe if you can. I reckon we'll just get into it, as per usual. We'll dive in. So here's the box, as you can see, we've got the giant teacup in the middle, and we've got the smaller teacup there. Um, waste no time, we'll get into it. Flick that away. So there's your code card, you can have that one. I'll flick that away, we'll get the packs out, I'll show you those in a second. So we've got the Poltergeist V right there. It's, it's a pretty nice card, to be honest, even though it's a teacup, with a little... Uh, little idiot hanging out the top and then we'll get the promo card out as well to put it next to it so that is what you're guaranteed in this box um, if you like teacups then this is for you I don't know many people that are into teacups if you are let me know so put this one aside and we'll sleeve this bad boy up and we'll put it to the side there, just so at least we know we got one V card. So I'll lay out, the, lay out the packs for you. You get a Sword and Shield. You get a Rebel Clash. We're happy about that. You get a Rebel Clash again. And then you get a fucking Steam Siege. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 A Steam Siege. Why is this still in here? It's old as shit. Nobody likes it. I I almost don't want to open it. I just want to chuck it away. But we've got to see if this is worth our money. So um, I guess we'll just get into it. Let's open the fucking worst one first. If our good pulls in here, I'm going to be very fucking pissed off. So we're just going to get into the first pack opening. The stupid ass Steam Siege. The worst one ever. I don't even know what the fucking code card is. Thank God it's green. Imagine if we got the Steam Siege from that. There's your code card. One, two, three. Three, four, maybe. I don't know, honestly. But it's fucking Steam Siege. So, alright. I've done it the wrong way. There's the regular rare. I'll show you the rest of the cards quickly. Cabalion. Don't have that. Anorith. We have Ninja Boy. Rapidash. You know what? I don't mind that card, to be honest. It's really nice art. Shalios with her, uh, his or her little friend back there. We've got Mantine. Clink. Honestly, Pokemon, get more creative, man. All right, we've got Mankey. That's actually a cool card. I really like that. We've got Fungus. I'm pretty sure that's the reprint from the newer sets. Braviary as a reverse holo. So there was no uh, trainer cards. In, uh, sorry, there was no energy cards in that, which I didn't know was a thing. But if anyone wants some Steam Siege bulk, I mean, just fucking take it off me. All right, let's go open uh, the Sword and Shield next. Crack into this one. Boom, we got a white pack. There's your code card. One, two, three, four. I know the card trick for this one. Come on. We're not amateurs. We've got darkness energy for you right there. We have Seeking. Thwacky. Pulled that last video. Lucky Egg. Can that bring us the luck? Got Mawile. Damn, looking angry as hell. 
Alright, we've got Galarian Ponyta. Love that. We've got Sobble. Sad as shit Pokemon. Cheer up, man. At least he gets cool by his final evolution. We've got Maractus. Mudbray. We've got Nickbit. And a Tapu Koko V! Alright, not the best V card, but bang! We have our first pull. Two packs in, and we've got our first pull. I'll show you it up close. Look at that. He's a very angry looking guy. Uh, we'll check if it's well centered on the back. It's not too bad. I'm definitely not going to get it graded because I think I have like seven of these. So if you want it, let me know. All right, we'll move on to Rebel Clash. I hope we haven't used up our good pull in a fucking Tapu Koko V. But right, we'll see how we go. White card again. All right, all right, all right. Let's get real hype here. All right, so there's your code card. If you manage to get that, well done. I didn't show that off very well. Uh, we've got electric energy right there. Electrode. We have Beware. I swear I get Beware every pack. Palisand. Look, I mean, this is what I was talking about before about Pokemon having terrible ideas at the moment. Palisand. He's a fucking sandcastle. Uh, Hatera. Magikarp. Always love Magikarp. And there's a little Pikachu in the background. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, show you up close. Look at that little happy little fat Pikachu. Uh, what else we got? We got Metatite. Stunky. Grubbin. Man to Buzz. And for the last one, give me some drum rolls, please. Toxtricity V. All right. So we've got two V cards in this. We'll take that. Chuck that down there. Now, if this has a V card or a Fallout, maybe it's worth it. Ah, uh, lucky green card. Anyway, uh, there's a code card. One, two, three, four. There is your metal energy. We have Morgrim, Full Hill, Training Court. Alright, so from a green pack, we kind of want Boss's Orders Reverse Hollow is what we're going to go for. Glaring Mouth, Surskit, Magikarp again. I'm happy to give Magikarp out. Metatite again. I feel like we're just pulling the same fucking pack. Uh, Milsuri, <laughs> Magic Up again, but in the reverse holo, I don't think I have that. That's kind of cool. And, a cake. We got a fucking cake. So here's a quick recap of the cards we've pulled. Here is the promo card, the Poltergeist V. I've got them sleeved up, so there's a little bit of glare from it. Um, we pulled the Tapu Koko V as well. And the big bag, Toxtricity. He's probably um, people's favorite Pokemon from the new Sword and Shield series, so... Not a bad one to get. I know a lot of people like this card. I've already got it, um, but I'll probably keep an extra one. I've got a Jumbo card. I actually got three Toxtricities now because there's a Toxtricity V-Box that I opened um, not too long ago. So I got the Jumbo card as well. And then you get the giant ass teacup lady if you're into that. So I've moved into a bit of a habit on this channel of showing off some of my cards. Here's a Charizard V that I got from the Charizard VMAX deck box. So you get two of these, and I think they're about $50 Australian. Um, I'm gonna get these graded. I've taken them out of my sleeves, naughty naughty, just to show you guys. Um, but it's really cool. It's got a nice little stadium in the background. But once you think this card is awesome, you get this. This absolute gem, Charizard VMAX. Definitely gonna get this graded. I love the artwork on this. It looks like he's about to tear down a whole bloody city. So the awesome thing about this is that this is going to be in English in August. Um, it's going to be part of the Darkness of Blaze set. This is probably going to be the chase card and I'd say there's going to be a rainbow rare version of it as well. So I can't wait to go on a hunt with you guys for that. Um, but I just thought I'd show you some upcoming cards that you'll be able to see in English very soon. And we're back. Was it worth it? Do you buy this box? You can make that up for yourself. I did get two V pools. I do have them both. Value for money wise, no. I'm not gonna get my money back on that. But if you like the full art, if you like the promo card, if you like the jumbo cards, if that's your thing, then 100% go get it. Um, it's just not my thing. I don't like little teacup man. Guys, thank you so much if you've watched this video till the end. Uh, hope you liked my little Charizard show and tell at the end. 
Um, they're going to be coming in the Darkness of Blaze set, as I mentioned. It's coming in August. I'm really excited to get that in English. We're going to be hunting for that on this channel. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, next week, we're going to be doing two videos again. Um, it's not going to be two openings. We're going to be switching it up. We're going to do an opening, and we're going to do a reaction video to the new Pokemon that are coming out um, in the new Sword and Shield DLCs for Nintendo Switch, which is going to be awesome. Um, I'm pr pretty sure after some of the Pokemon we saw today, there's going to be some good laughs in that video of uh, what the people at Nintendo have come up with. So thank you for watching the video, guys. You've been absolute legends, and I'll see you next week.